Hi, I'm Graham Mossman from Intelligent Edge Group and today I'm going to show you how you can work with the core Exasol database using the R statistical language. From inside Exasol you can wrap up an R program into a user-defined function that you can call as part of a SQL statement. Or from outside Exasol you can pull data as a data frame which you can process just like any other R data frame. My first example is going to demonstrate the use of R inside Exasol. Here I have some data related to adult obesity and fertility in all of the countries of the world. My theory is that there is no difference in fertility between the countries with high and low rates of obesity. To prove this, I'm going to use the student's t-test to investigate whether there's a statistically significant difference between the fertility rates in the two groups of countries. To do this, I create a simple user-defined function called t-test, which reads the database data I give it and outputs the t-test statistics. Once created, I can now call the function from SQL. The t-test results show that, in fact, there is a statistically significant difference between the samples and a very small chance that my theory is correct. Moving on to an example of using R outside of Exasol, I have some data showing the rate of military spending and the growth in population for all the countries in the world. I want to split these countries into four logical groupings using the k-means clustering technique. From my R command line, I use the rjdbc function to specify my database connection and use it to grab my SQL from before and return it as a data frame. We can then use the k-means algorithm to split the countries into four groups and then use a simple plot to show the result. I think this is a good demonstration of how easy it becomes to do something that would be either difficult or impossible to do in SQL. In summary, I've shown you two ways to integrate R and Exasol. One uses the idea of a user-defined function to allow you to run R within SQL. The other shows you how to get data from Exasol into your R implementation. I hope this has been useful. Any questions, please let me know. YouTube at edge-a.co.uk. Thanks for listening.